guys, it's Jessica Hayes. So for this week's video, I am going to be swatching and reviewing the brand new Makeup Geek Plush Lip Creams. So recently Makeup Geek came out with a line of all brand new lipsticks. So there's this one, the Plush Lip Cream. There's also the Matte Lip Cream and also the Iconic Lipsticks as well. For this swatch and review, I will be doing all nine shades of the brand new Plush Lip Creams. So if you would like to see a swatch of all of these shades as well as a review at the end, then keep on watching. I was so excited when I figured out that Makeup Geek were going to be doing lipsticks. As you know, if you're familiar with my channel, I absolutely adore the eyeshadows. So the very first one that caught my eye, pretty obvious, is Socialite. This color is just like the perfect mauve grayish lip color. So this was the first one that I tried and I didn't realize that they weren't going to be a liquid matte lipstick. So these are a lip cream. So pretty much it feels like on the lips if you were to melt down a satin lipstick and pop it in a tube with a wand. So if you're not a fan of the super dry matte feeling of a liquid lipstick, then this is going to be the perfect substitute for you. Honestly, it's been a really nice break from liquid lipsticks because it is so cold and dry here right now. My lips have been super chapped. So I have been wearing these for the last two weeks and they feel fantastic on. They have that creamy kind of feeling. It doesn't ever dry down to a matte feeling, but because of that, they aren't transfer proof. So just remember that, but they have that creamy kind of hydrating feeling that stays on the lips throughout the whole time you wear them. They won't ever dry down and change a different color or get that matte kind of flaky feeling. So when I was wearing these, I noticed that you get about a four hour wear of them before you have to kind of do the inside of your lips again. And also the thing with that is that you can reapply them without them getting flaky and bowly like some liquid matte lipsticks do. They honestly don't really have a smell or anything to them, so I can't quite comment on that. They definitely don't smell like fruity or chemically or anything like that. So for people that are sensitive to fragrance, this is going to be a great lip cream for you. So my definite favorite was obviously this one, Socialite. I also liked this one, Trailblazer, a lot. That was just pretty much a lighter version of Socialite. I actually put a little bit of Socialite and then Trailblazer on the inside for this lip look that I'm wearing now. I also loved this color, Jet Setter. I'm a super fan of those yellowish warm nude tones and this one old soul is a really pretty pinky kind of rosy grayish neutral color as well so I have been trying a few of the other makeup geek lipsticks that came out in that collection and I can say that this one is definitely my favorite out of all three that they launched so there is a matte lip cream and there's also like a traditional kind of um 
cream lipstick that they came out with too. I really like this one because it is super comfortable on the lips. You can reapply it without having to worry about it. The only downside that I can really find with it is the applicator. I just feel like it is kind of chunky. You can't get a super crisp lip line as well and it's not really a super liquidy product. It's more of a moussey kind of velvety texture. I did notice that I wasn't getting a super crisp lip line like you would with some liquid matte lipsticks. Obviously the easy way to fix that is to use a lip brush or also use a lip liner with it as well. The packaging is super cute. This is the little box that it comes in too. So the plush lip cream singles you can purchase for $14 each. There's a pretty good amount of product in here for just $14. That's the one thing that I love about Makeup Geek is that they always have super affordable makeup at professional quality as well. Well. So overall, I would say an absolute yes to the Makeup Geek Plush Lip Creams if you do like more of that creamy, hydrating kind of texture lipstick. So let me know in the comments below what colors you loved best and if you plan on purchasing any of the new Makeup Geek lipsticks. If it did help you decide which lipsticks you're going to get from the collection, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe because I will have many more Lip Swatch videos to come. And I will see you guys next week for my next video. Bye.